Acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter for the neuromuscular junction and in many other neuronal transmission in central and autonomic neurons. Understanding inhibitors of its effect, synthesis, and release helps understanding the secondary effects of drugs that stimulate or inhibit its action. Reviewing steps of acetylcholine synthesis until its site of action, we see that the process starts by choline assembly. Then, there is addition of acetyl-CoA by help of the enzyme choline acetyltransferase. Now we have acetylcholine synthesized, and the next step is packaging of the formed molecules into vesicles. This step requires the vesicular acetylcholine transporter. Once action potential arrives to the nerve terminal, it results in calcium entrance. This, then, induces adhesion of acetylcholine vesicles to the presynaptic terminal membrane. Here, the snares protein complex participates in exocytosis of the vesicles, thus releasing acetylcholine. Bacillinum toxin works here by inhibiting acetylcholine release from the presynaptic neurons. Recall that bacillinum toxicity causes descending skeletal muscle paralysis, which can start from cranial nerves and descend downwards. Acetylcholine is released and works in the postsynaptic membrane by attaching acetylcholine receptors. The action of this could be stimulation of muscle contraction. And we do not want this to continue because after contraction we want the muscle to relax. There is enzyme called acetylcholinesterase which dissolves acetylcholine from its receptors and split it into acetate and choline. Choline is then get reabsorbed to presynaptic neuron to be recycled. Atropine is anticholinergic agent that is used pharmacologically to antagonize the effect of acetylcholine. It is an acetylcholine receptor antagonist. Organophosphates are substances widely used as pesticides in agriculture. They are irreversible inhibitors for acetylcholinesterase. This cause continuous effect of acetylcholine until new enzyme is synthesized. Organophosphate poisoning is treated with atropine and pralidoxime, which is a drug that can bind organophosphates and detach them from the enzyme. Of note that reversible acetylcholinesterase inhibitors are used in myasthenia gravis, which is characterized by autoantibodies that destroy the acetylcholine receptors.